Hi Taurus, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. And I am here to do your reading for the week of September 17th through the 23rd. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid because these readings, for me anyway, they happen like after the date. So just keep that in mind. Um, sometimes they happen before, so the timing is absolutely fluid. And this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this reading does not resonate for you, then it's not for you. If you're confused by it, if, you got, if you're confused, then this reading isn't for you. Typically, my readings are love readings. We will see whatever comes up. Taurus. This is for Taurus. Whew. The power. You have the power. You've manifested something. The power is in your hands. The power is in your hands, Taurus. As above, so below. Divine. Oneness. Moving forward. Oh my goodness. So you guys are headed in a, in a direction of serenity of some sort. Something you've manifested. Success. Ooh, letting go of insecurities. Is that what's happening, Taurus? You're, you're letting go of some of those insecurities? You've blocked something. Something has been blocked. I don't know what that is. We'll find out. What have you blocked? Well, maybe it's people. I don't know. Um, I don't know. It looks like, I mean, I've been blocking like mad. <laughs> so I don't know about you guys, but something has been blocked. Maybe the light. I don't know. Something has been blocked with that five of pentacles. Reverse. It's the end of difficulty. It's coming out of darkness. The light. Oh, the light had been blocked because somebody was reluctant to move on. They didn't find their power. They didn't take action. But now they're taking action to come out of this darkness. That's exactly what this is. Ooh, standing up for what you deserve. Is that what you're doing? You're standing up for what you deserve. You're standing up for yourself. Facing, facing your competition. Facing the people that, the haters. The people that don't like you. Facing the... army basically ooh okay there's been some pain maybe you've been trying to block the pain you've been blocking this rebirth hoping for a reunion well son of a bitch but now somebody has found their power. There's that sort of power. Thank you, Lord. I'm taking back my power. There ain't no doubt about that. Mm. Let me make sure this is zoomed in. Somebody's been getting bored, really, really bored with hanging on to a situation that is going nowhere. Blocking growth. Somebody has been blocking their own growth. But it feels as though now somebody has decided to stand up for themselves and take back their power after blocking this growth for way too long this feeling of emptiness and being incomplete has probably 
finally pushed somebody to the edge where they are ready to move on. I'm ready to receive. Now there is probably some sort of communication that is coming in with that Ace of Swords, some sort of clarity. Somebody has received some sort of clarity, whether it's via another person or via your intuition or via the divine, whatever. Somebody has received some sort of clarity in regards to maybe even a third party situation. Maybe it was even a friend. Maybe a friend told you something or whatever that, you know, this that has helped you in some way to move on okay it looks like something has been communicated that helps you to move on because you had been blocking a new beginning because you were um not dealing with the pain not dealing with the pain in some way hoping for a reunion of some sort so some some of you have been hoping for a reunion now you've received some, some some information, whether it's from the divine or even from a friend or who isn't really a friend or who knows. You've received something, or maybe they are a friend, I don't know. You've received some sort of um, clarity in regards to whatever it is that you've been thinking about in regards to love. Whatever it is, you've, been, you've, you've received the information that you have needed to move on from this situation that has left you feeling incomplete. So I feel, I mean, with the world cards, like you needed to learn a lesson. And I think this lesson has to do about, has to do with truth of some sort and power, power and truth. Because this is a lesson. The world cards, a lesson has been learned. This is, you know, this, this revelation, this a wake up call that you're getting or this whatever this news is that you are receiving is actually something to celebrate, okay? Because it's going to help unblock you. That's what it looks like to me. Because it looks like you're moving on from this blockage. Let's get some clarifiers here. This is the it's coming out of the darkness. Wherever, whatever it is that you were refusing to let go of, there's no growth there. It was a contract, okay? Somebody was holding on to a false contract, okay? It was, uh, I thought you were the one, but... Now I see that you actually aren't. False contract. I mean, that's exactly what this is. And that you have somebody else that is better suited for you, but you have been unable, or the universe, because this is a universe card, has been unable, because it's reversed, to bring a new contract into your life until you cut the cords with whoever this person is that has been blocking your new love. All right? So there is an opportunity for new love, if you could see it. But somebody has been looking at this old contract over and over and over again. Hoping for a reunion. But knowing deep down that a reunion probably would just leave them discontent anyway. It would be insecure. So, Four of Cups. Boredom. Focusing on this contract, focusing on this contract that isn't compatible, is causing you to miss or has caused you or will cause you to miss an opportunity for a partnership in true love two of cups ace of cups focusing on this false contract you think this is the one or that other person thinks somebody in this dynamic thinks you know 
it's us and it's not there's no growth in that contract this is a lesson to be learned there's consequences for the decisions that you make and you have been blocking out a love partnership by concentrating on this false contract And there's consequences. The consequences is, is loss. It's loss of, of true love, you know, of a two of cups opportunity. So you have to make a decision. I mean, this is indecision, okay? You have to make a decision. Do you want true love or do you want to keep not learning your lesson and staying in a situation that has no growth and block out love? I mean, it's up to you. There's consequences. You want to grow old alone? You want to live alone? You, well, I mean, come on now. Or do you want to stand up for yourself, take back your power, and manifest something new? What the hell is it going to be? Whoever this contract is that you have been holding on to and there's no communication, it's a third-party situation. That person is with somebody else. Why are you still holding on to that shit? I'm telling you what. It is absolutely time for you to drop that empty cup. Let it fall to the ground and smash. Because there's another opportunity for love waiting for you. And it's something you've manifested. You've manifested this new love, even subconsciously. Begging for love. Even though you may have put a name on it, the universe doesn't hear that name. The universe hears love. There's an opportunity if you could just realize it. And I think that I honestly feel like you are. You're waking up. You're awake. And moving on from this sad situation that has no love left. The last step is to drop that empty cup and turn your head in the other direction. Do what's right for you. Put yourself back on top. Do you, do you want to be alone? It doesn't look like you want to be alone. It looks like you're getting sick of being alone. I don't want to do this on my own. I don't want to be independent forever. If you don't want to be independent forever, you got to let go of the third party situation. Three of cups. Three of cups. Three of cups. Unless you want to be alone. Whoever it is that you have been holding on to, the false contract... There's no growth. There's no happiness. There's no rebirth. It's not going to work. You're not happy being alone. You want a real contract. But there's consequences for the choices that you make, right? If you choose to hold on to something or to a person that is with another person, you will live with those consequences and not get the love that you deserve.
you have to find the discipline and the willpower to move on. And right now it feels like you're, or some of you haven't mastered your emotions enough to move on. Somebody may be stalling, stalling their own happiness, blocking their own happiness. Son of a bitch. Why? Why are you blocking your own happiness? Drop that empty cup and turn your head. Because there's love waiting. This could even be self-love. Maybe you have to love your independence. Be grateful for the experiences you had with this teacher. This person came in to teach you a lesson. It has to do with love. It has to do with self-love. It has to do with self-respect. has to do with listening to your intuition. Your intuition knows that this wouldn't work. <laughs> it does. It truly does. But there's codependency issues here, and it's what you know. Yeah, I understand. There's memories there, right? But you know that there would be no success. So you might as well stop holding on to that dead end situation and accept a new offer. Or love yourself enough to be happily independent. Justice is going to be served. Just be honest with yourself. You're going to get what you deserve. You are going to get what you deserve for doing the right thing, for being an honorable person. You're going to get what you deserve. Good karma is coming in the form of love. But you have to come out of this repression that you've been in. For real. With the Knight of Cups, perhaps? Whatever romantic or romanticizing that you're doing over this false contract, is unjust, okay? It's not real. It's, it's romanticizing. It's not... This person is not who you want them to be. There's no growth, and it's time to stop holding on and let it in. Endings bring new beginnings, and that's what you have here. You have a new beginning, a major one. You're coming out. <laughs> You're coming out, seeing the light. No more waiting. I'm not waiting anymore. No more hiding. It looks like you guys are, are deciding that it is time to come out of this darkness and see the light. Step out of hermit mode and open your heart. Snake. Whoever you are holding on to,
is controlling, detached and withdrawn, and they use emotional blackmail via or via no communication, no contact, whatever, to keep you stuck, to make you wonder. But it feels as though you guys are seeing the light in regards to this person who didn't have good intentions for you. And whoever this person is that did not have good intentions for you could be any sign. I feel as though there's a release. Giving up. You're giving up on this person. Because you don't want to wait forever. If you are dealing with a water sign, because you have water sign right here, water sign right here, just know that there's no, there's no growth. It's, it's a complete fantasy, okay? That's the romanticizing. It's a fantasy. It's what you were wishing for, okay? It's just a wish. It's, it's not real. And I see that there's a door closing with this person okay because nines are closure doors are closing so a door is closing it's ending it's done it's done it's done oh there's that damn door closing again you've been restricting your options for too long you have you have now you got love looking at you. You got love at your door, okay? You got love at your door. You're still romanticizing about this, about this person, whatever sign this person is. Could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be anyone. Whoever it is that you are romanticizing about, there, there's an incompatibility. You know it, but you might not want to believe it because you're romanticizing. Anyway, you have to let it end. You let it end. There's this new beginning, okay? It ends. There's this new beginning. You've been, you've been holding out, waiting, 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 waiting for the other person to see the light, okay? The other person is never seeing the light, okay? They don't see the light. They don't. They're narcissists, whatever. So anyway, they never see the light. Therefore... You continue to grow. You continue to manifest. You continue to heal. You continue to work on yourself. And here we have this new offer of love. Whether it's self-love or an offer from somebody else, there's an offer of love here. But there's also fear. This is fear of change. Indecisiveness. About truly releasing. Truly, once and for all, releasing. Oh, it's time to take off the mask, unblock your heart, and accept what is. No more denial. Let go of the den denial. Stop trying to avoid the truth. Remember I was talking about blocking up here? It's time to accept the truth that something is done. It's done, it's done, it's done. It's, this is death, it's done. With endings, bring new beginnings. And as soon as you take that mask off and accept the truth, that there's no success or future with this false contract that you've been holding on to, new love is... at your door so Taurus I feel like you have to make a decision this is a decision and there is you have you have somebody else you do have somebody else there's no doubt about it okay you have somebody else and you have to make a decision do you do you stay stuck do you stay blocking the truth do you stay in the past do you 
Do you pretend that this other person's coming back? Do you pretend that, um, or do you have to protect yourself? I mean, what is it going to be? Are you ready to open your heart? Because you have an opportunity to open your heart at this time. The power is in your hands. Look at these ones. That's funny. I didn't even know. I wasn't going for the ones. I was going for these two cards and then I just, whatever. Okay, one, one, one. The power is truly in your hands. Manifestation. You have manifested love. No shit. But like I said, with that five of cups, there's one last step. Drop that empty cup. It's already empty. Let it smash. And turn your head at the new opportunity. Turn your head towards the light. Tor turn your head towards this new offer that you have manifested. Be very much, one, 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 be very much aware of your thoughts. You need love. Your thoughts are consumed with love. Therefore, that's what you're manifesting. And you know you can't put a name on it. They're going to bring you the love that you are meant to have with this next cycle that you're about to begin. So I feel like this is a week of perhaps accepting an offer. This offer has been waiting for you to accept it. Endings bring new beginnings. So I feel that somebody is about to have a major new beginning. As they see the light about a dead end situation. So Taurus, I feel like you have love, an offer of love coming in. But you have to let go of whatever it is that you've been romanticizing about in the past. That's, a, that's romanticizing. Feel free to look it up. If this person that you have been holding on to, um, you know, the memories, that those are, it was never really real. You know what I mean? It was, the, it was who you wanted them to be, who you thought it could be. I think that you are realizing that you, you should take the new opportunity. Take the new opportunity, Taurus. Take the new opportunity. In the flow. When <laughs> everything is smooth sailing? Really? Oh my goodness. Is it smooth sailing? I'm telling you what. Smooth sailing. <laughs> Let go of the shore. It's funny, my daily vibes was about sailing today. Plus, I'm going to be going sailing really soon, so this is crazy shit. Let go of the shore. Enter the flow. You're moving into a period of gracious ease and flow. All is unfolding perfectly and with good timing. Everything is falling into place because you aren't resisting the drift of the great river of life. No more resisting. Enjoy the ride. This isn't the time to try to control the events of your life. Let the Creator support you. You don't have to do it all yourself. The glory of the universe flows through you. It's not always easy to let go of the shore. It's not to let go of what you know. Remember what I was saying? I said that earlier. 
However, this card is urging you to take a risk and let go. When you are truly in the flow, you don't need to push or exert effort to make things happen. You can flow around any obstacle. If there is a situation in your life that isn't falling into place, let it go. It's not the right time. When you're in a state of flow, you aren't pushing the river to go faster. You aren't swimming against it. You just enjoy the ride. Just enjoy the ride. If you aren't feeling the smooth current of life, it might mean that you're trying to control situations in your life. That's what's going on here. You may want to move into flow. You may, the way you move into flow is through gratitude and appreciation and by allowing others in spirit to support and help you. So I feel like this is a week of going with a new opportunity. Let it go. Let it go. Accept. Talk to you later.